Joined former foreign policy advisor to President Obama's campaign, David Tafuri, and member of the UK Parliament, Lord John Taylor of Warwick. Great to have you both with us, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so uh, this is what Reuters says about what's coming tomorrow. They say a giant inflatable blimp depicting Donald Trump as a pouting baby in a diaper will fly outside the British Parliament in London on Tuesday ahead of what's expected to be one of the city's largest protests against a foreign leader. Um, Lord Taylor, what do you make of the situation there in the UK? Well, I think that protest is childish. I mean, Donald Trump is the democratically elected president of the United States of America. America is our strongest ally. We go back a long way. We have a special relationship. We should respect the office, you know, respect the post, his position. Forget the man. He is president. He is owed respect for his position. All right, David, um, you know that, of course, this is about to be in large part the anniversary of D-Day and how the U.S. and Britain and allies joined together to overcome, you know, potential world devastation. And they accomplished a lot in working together. So why is it that when an American leader goes um, to Great Britain, and it's not just President Trump, but there are, you know, talk of these huge protests when there are other leaders of other, you know, some would argue more controversial nations like China and Russia, we don't see the same kind of outpouring in the streets. Well, it's a good point. Look, this visit is much bigger than any president. It's bigger than President Trump. It's bigger than any of our previous presidents. It's about commemorating the brave soldiers from the UK and from the US who fought together against Nazi extremism, the 75th anniversary of D-Day. So uh, we should all keep that in mind. And President Trump brought a little bit of this on himself by getting in these feuds before he came to London, by getting in the feud with the mayor of London, by making some comments about Meghan Markle. I hope he can now put that aside and really focus on D-Day. It's unfortunate that there will be protests with our president going there. No American likes to see that. I don't like to see that. I do think that we need to respect the office of the president. But, of course, the U.K. people have a right to protest against any visitor. You would hope they would protest if Vladimir Putin visited or China, uh, the, the head of China visited. There's a lot more to protest for them, as you mentioned. But they have a right to protest, and President Trump is deeply unpopular in the UK right now. He's deeply unpopular in Europe. But what he should be doing is sending a message to the people of the UK that we will support the UK in this difficult time, no matter what happens with Brexit. And one of the ways he can support the UK is to do a bilateral trade deal between the US and the UK, especially if Brexit does happen and the UK leaves the EU. He's mentioned that a little bit, but that me, should be the focus, not right. the stuff with me Meghan bring, Markle and, and the mayor of London. Well, of course, Lord Taylor, I, I, you know, the president will say, well, Mayor uh, Khan wrote a nasty piece about me in the paper. It's going to be his characterization of it. And he's going to say, you know, I'm being snubbed by um, the Duchess, um, Meghan Markle. And, you know, it, he's not one to back down from where he thinks there's been an attack or a fight. But he needs to be above that, especially okay, because this is about D-Day. Let me bring in Lord Taylor. Yes, I think he's already shown that he's above that because he's already said he wants to do a trade deal with Britain. Once we leave the European Union, after all, you know, we trade with America. It's our biggest trading partner outside uh, Europe. We want to do more trade with America. And he's already said he wants to do this and we should allow him to do this. He is the leader of the free world. Khan is the mayor of London. And I think uh, Trump needs to ignore Khan's nonsense now and focus on the big picture. Okay, I want to play something from a woman there um, who is supporting her. I believe her name is Margaret Lamb. Um, she's talking about why she's there in London to support President Trump. I'm here to support him because uh, he support democracy. He support Brexit and we want to be independent. So, David, you know, the people who voted for Brexit and are supportive of that idea, um, they have a lot of reasons to like President Trump. Well, I, I suppose they do. I mean, he supported Brexit, but uh, it's still not clear what's going to happen with the U.K. and Brexit. There's no deal yet. And President Trump may, act may actually accidentally hurt the Brexiteers' cause by being so supportive of it. Um, that's, of course, his choice. But I think the better policy for the U.S. is to say that's an issue for the U.K. and for the people of the U.K. And no matter what happens with Brexit, the U.S. will maintain its very strong relationship with the U.K. We will come to the aid of the U.K. We mm -hmm. will do a bilateral deal with the U.K. And, of course, most importantly, we'll maintain our intelligence alliance and our military mm -hmm. alliance with the U.K. Yeah, and both, uh, both sides talked about that tonight at this dinner 
dinner uh, with the Queen. Um, a very positive uh, remembrance of our ties that are stronger than, um, you know, sometimes people would feel they are stressed in situations like this. Uh, David and Lord Taylor, thank you both very much. Thank you. Thank you.